Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Freedom Tech Century and welcome to a new vlog, actually the first vlog here on the main channel. And I decided to give this a go here on the main channel because it doesn't really work on the secondary channel for me. Now, I'm gonna name all the vlogs vlogs in the title so that you know which one are vlogs and which one are regular videos so that you don't get confused and if you don't care about the vlogs, that's absolutely fine. So I'm currently here out and about in the woods with our dog Findus as you see right there. So I'll quickly switch around the cameras and uh, then I'll show you him again. And uh, we are having a lot of fun out here. So, let's so take a there look. he is. And uh, he's already a little bit exhausted because we were playing with this ball right here. So uh, I'm just going to show you. Of course, this is a little bit mean because it's actually pretty steep down there. So, but he's pretty excited about catching the ball. So you'll see right there. And he got it. You barely even see him anymore. And uh, there he's coming back up. <laughs> Quite exhausted already. But anyways. So that's a lot of fun. Especially also because of all the leaves that are around here. And uh, he's definitely excited. I am. And uh, a little bit later in this video, it'll get more technical again. There's just a little break. And yeah, he's down there again, catching the ball. So <laughs> that's pretty much what we are doing uh, up until now. I already published a new video actually on the channel. Uh, so yeah, there he's back. And uh, I'll catch you guys a little bit later. So this is actually quite a nice view up here uh, over my hometown. And exposure, of course, a little bit difficult, but there you basically see the entire town. Actually, uh, in the lower left corner, you see my school that I went to uh, with the red roofs, uh, the uh, big building. So uh, I'll try to focus in on that, but probably that doesn't work. So anyways, it's on the bottom left side. Uh, there you can see my school, uh, which I attended for like 10 years. So I spent a lot of time there. And uh, that's basically my hometown here, pretty good view. Um, there you also see like this little forest uh, where we were in just a couple of minutes ago, or in this video actually a couple of seconds ago. So uh, the magic of video editing or at least video stitching. And uh, this is the area here where we'll uh, take a walk with the dog um, basically every day. No, not the same place every day, uh, but this is one of the uh, areas where we go to. and. Yeah, that's uh, basically it about that. Now, um, I'll also pick up a new hard drive a little bit later on that I'll show you. So uh, that's where we get uh, back to tech again. Uh, but for now, this is just a little bit of nature, uh, which is rarely to see here on my channel. So I hope you guys enjoy that as well. And of course, also Germany is playing later today. So uh, we'll talk about so that. So now we're here back in the car. Uh, actually, uh, let me just quickly uh, turn the air conditioning off so and uh, now we're here back in the car now in terms of day as I mentioned before I did record a new video today that already hit the channel very early so early upload for me and uh, that was my rant about the OnePlus One and the fact that they can't get the thing released so if you haven't seen that video you should definitely check it out and uh, definitely a ranty video so I think you guys will enjoy that now, uh, as far as my day goes, I still have to write a couple of articles today. Uh, then I'll now head to MediaMarkt, which is one of the biggest like consumer electronic retail chains here in Germany. So kind of like Best Buy in the US or uh, Circuit City used to be uh, back when I was in the States. So I'll actually uh, pick up a new hard drive right there. And uh, oh, well, it's more than a hard drive, but uh, you'll see later in this video. So uh, no spoilers there so far. And then, of course, also today is quite exciting because there will be Germany against Portugal uh, in the 2014 World Cup. So the first game for Germany in this World Cup, and I'm definitely excited to see how we'll perform. Now, it's always tough to say whether we'll play good or not, because I have the feeling that before the World Cup or before any like big tournament, 
uh, we kind of suck. And then at the World Cup, somehow we perform pretty well. So, uh, yeah, no really, not really any chance to say whether we'll perform well or not. But I guess you'll also see in this vlog. So, <laughs> yes, when you see this video, actually, you probably already know the result. But uh, I don't know it yet because it's uh, 3 p.m. actually on Monday. So we'll play, I think, at 6 p.m. So not actually too much time to go. Actually, time flies by. So I still have to write the articles, but now I'll just head to MediaMark to pick up the hard drive, and uh, then I'll talk to you guys again in a little bit. So now I'm back home, and this is the storage that I picked up. It's the Western Digital MyCloud Mirror. So this is a NAS system that has two integrated drives. Both have three terabytes of storage, so in total six terabytes. But I'll be using this in a RAID array, so I'll only be able to use 3 terabyte because the data will be mirrored between those two drives. So that if I have a hard drive failure, I'm on the safe side and nothing happens. Of course, there's also a NAS, so this means you can just use this as kind of like a server in your uh, home network. And this also has your own cloud, so you can also access that, for example, from your Android tablet, iOS, smartphone, or of course also from the laptop when you're away, maybe on vacation. So I'm really looking forward to using this. Now, um, I did have to get some work done before, so I have written three articles, so that's good. And now, actually, there is the game on TV, Portugal versus Germany. So we are two minutes in, and now I'll stop vlogging and actually take a look at the game. Hopefully, we'll win. Not quite sure about that, and I'll just get back to you guys uh, when there's a goal for whatever team it is. So let's press the thumbs and hope that Germany actually wins. So that's what I call game. a fantastic start. Uh, we're 11 minutes into the match versus Portugal. Uh, we just got a penalty and Müller scored the 1-0. So uh, 11 minutes in, 1-0. That's a good start. So hopefully it will continue just as good. Oh man, what a game. 32 minutes into it, 2-0 for Germany. And uh, what a goal, honestly didn't expect that after a corner, so uh, just absolutely incredible, a good header, uh, I believe from Hummels. So 2-0, 32 minutes in, I hope this will continue like this. So let's get started uh, with 3, 4 and 5 mil. Okay, that's maybe a little bit too much, but 2-0, great start, didn't expect that, so Kudos to the German team so far. Oh boy, this is just getting better. 45 minutes into the game, Müller scores the 3-0 for Germany after uh, one of the Portugal players was actually sent off the pitch. So uh, he received a red card. Uh, also actually for a foul against Müller. So uh, now 3-0 and it's almost half time and it couldn't really be any better. So I'm very pleased. So the game is over and we actually won 4 to nil. And I assume you can also like hear the horns of the cars uh, that are just like driving around celebrating the victory. So I'll just shut up and see if you guys can actually hear that. So yeah, I think uh, that should be good to tell like <laughs> that everybody's excited about this 4 to nil victory over Portugal. Hi guys, so actually uh, already another day passed by, so now it's Wednesday and uh, there are a couple of things left to do, but of course, first off, uh, the game again, uh, Germany against Portugal, the 4-0 of course was very exciting and uh, of course like all the media and stuff are reporting now, well, we are like the favorite to win the World Cup. So yeah, I think that's uh, basically just uh, BS because <laughs> it was one game and uh, you can get lucky on one game and you can lose the other one pretty bad. So uh, I'm not buying into all of this like, oh, now we're the favorite suddenly uh, just because we had like one good game. But then again, Portugal didn't play as well either. So um, if they would have just played the best they can, then I'm sure the game would have looked a lot different. Now... Um, this morning I actually woke up to like really heavy construction noise once again. So uh, actually the floor below our apartment, uh, they were like removing walls and all that crap. And I was, well, I thought that I like all of this would be done. But then I wake up at like 7 a.m. this morning and uh, they're like drilling again, taking out the walls. And I was just like, oh, serious again. And it like, I don't know, got on for like three or four hours. Uh, so that was very annoying. 
Now a couple of things that I still have left to do. So uh, first off, I did order a new office chair because uh, the one that I have right now isn't really that good. I'll show you that in a second. And unfortunately, I ran into some issues with it. So uh, that's what I'm going to talk to you guys about next. So uh, let's check out my current uh, chair right now and then I'll show you which one I ordered. So this is my current chair right here. Certainly looks pretty comfortable and it is for the most part. But unfortunately, if I'm sitting in there, maybe like eight hours or even longer, uh, then I really get like a backache. So um, I really have to look for something new, something better. And I thought I found something and uh, this is actually what you also see here on the screen and that's the office chair that I ordered. So uh, this is called the Genua Pro. I hope it's, yeah, it focuses in. And it, as you see right there, it looks very nice. Also has uh, like this headrest, which I feel like looks very nice. Unfortunately though, even though they say that uh, this chair should work for people uh, that are tall like me, so up to like 1 meter 90 or something, um, the chair just didn't work at all. So um, if you see right here, actually uh, the part where your back is wasn't really that high, so it was like 50 centimeters, and uh, then the headrest was only like 20 centimeters above that. So in the end, uh, basically uh, this headrest, even at the um, highest setting, was uh, basically in my neck so that didn't work out at all and uh, also as you see right there it's not like the cheapest chair so um, I actually have to return it now it's supposed to be picked up today because uh, the package is actually huge and it's over like 20 kilograms so I'm gonna show you the package right now because I have to prepare it so that it gets picked up because it's just a real pain in the ass so this is uh, the chair right here in its packaging and as you can see it's pretty huge so um, this also weighs like 20 kilograms as I already mentioned so a big package that's quite heavy and there are a couple of stairs up to our apartment so uh, it's not the best uh, thing actually for the delivery driver <laughs> to get this up here but I'm still happy that it will be picked up and that I don't have to drive it to the post office because that would be a pain in the backside. Now here you can see just a little bit about uh, about this chair, uh, not too much, but I already disassembled everything because I just hope that it will be picked up uh, within like uh, the next hour, hopefully that I don't have to wait like uh, the entire day for the uh, delivery guy to come here. Um, but then I'm just happy that I have this out of the way. The new chair is already uh, ordered, unfortunately it'll take like uh, one or two weeks until it's actually delivered. So. Uh, that's not too great, but um, I'm still looking forward to the new one. I hope that the new one will work out because as you can see it's a pain in the backside to uh, just like get this disassembled and then also of course uh, to return it again. Uh, so yeah, hopefully the new one will be better and work out. Oh, and a quick word of advice. If you're a tech YouTuber or if you just happen to send a lot of packages, get yourself one of these. Uh, in order to like get your packages prepared because that were probably like the best investment I ever made. I think it's like 15 bucks uh, with like uh, three words of this tape. And this is just a fantastic um, thing to just get your packages done in a very timely manner and way easier than just to have the tape itself. So I'm officially going insane. First off, yes, they're drilling again. I think they just have like the first break again for like the last three hours. So they're drilling the entire day. It's incredibly loud, uh, which is really annoying. And of course, I can also like not record a regular video as well, because uh, they'll probably be drilling like right the second when I'm uh, recording the video. So yeah, good that I have the vlog. So First bad thing, yes, they're drilling all day, which is uh, just so damn annoying. Second thing, uh, they are drilling again. You heard that right. So, uh, second thing before they drill too much, which I probably can change. Uh, as you saw, I got the Western Digital MyCloud Mirror. And I'll talk to you guys when they stop drilling. So, as I was saying, here's the MyCloud Mirror from Western Digital. And uh, this is what I just picked up, as you saw also here in the vlog. Now uh, it has storage of three terabytes each, so in total six terabytes, but it's mirrored, so it's three terabytes in a RAID array. Now, unfortunately, it turns out that even though you can do um, time machine backups from your Mac to this uh, MyCloud mirror, they actually removed the feature that you can limit the file size of the backups.
So now what this means is that basically Time Machine would just fill up the entire 3 terabytes of storage until there's no storage left. Now this isn't just like Western Digital's fault, of course it's their fault because they removed the feature to limit this. On other Western Digital Drive it seems like the feature actually exists. But then again it's also like that I can't understand why Apple doesn't allow you to change in the preferences the file size of the backup so you could or you should be able to set like a maximum that the backup of time machine isn't bigger than maybe like 500 gigs i mean the mac pro has storage of 250 gigs so 500 gigs is more than enough no time machine will always fill up your entire hard drive and that's just a complete shame and it's just ridiculous that it's so bad that they don't even allow you this feature even now in like 10.9 or 10.10 .10 coming so that's a feature that's missing for years and I honestly can't understand uh, why Apple didn't fix this. So in the end I have to uh, format the Western Digital Drive which I'm currently doing I think it's at 6% and then I'll have to return it to the store which is a lot of fun. So the purchase already sucked because uh, yeah, actually I called the Western Digital Support and they were like oh no guess we removed that feature you should probably return that thing. I was like great thanks already did like a complete backup of my Mac Pro on there so now I have to delete all the files which will take forever and of course also the drilling is still going on not right now fortunately but I'm sure they'll start in like five minutes again so that's also great so uh, yeah I will be uh, removing or I'll be replacing the Western Digital My Cloud and bring it back to the store and see if I can find a better solution because it's just not an option that the backups from my Mac Pro just fill up the three terabytes and then I don't have any space left to actually store data on there. So that's a complete mess. I'm quite pissed off because of that. So yeah, all for nothing basically. And uh, yeah, I hope now the only hope that I have right now is that the um, formatting doesn't take too long so that I can still take it to the store today so that I get my refund because I honestly don't want to wait. And tomorrow is a bank holiday. So tomorrow all the stores are closed as well. So it's around uh, 5 p.m. and I'm out of luck because uh, the Western Digital Drive uh, decides that it takes forever to format. So I think it's now at like 40% after a couple of hours. So the store is open for three more hours and I don't think that I'll be able to make it. And as I mentioned before, tomorrow is a bank holiday. So I basically have to wait until Friday when I have to work or so as well. So I probably have to like uh, go there after work, which definitely sucks. Now um, I just finished all my work, the uh, office chair is gone so that's definitely good and now I just have to search for a new solution in terms of storage. Maybe you guys have something that you can recommend to me and this is also where I'll just end the first vlog here on the main channel which I hope you guys enjoyed and um, this now carried on for like two days and uh, I just hope that you enjoyed the video and of course if you didn't you don't have to watch the vlog so um, I'll just try this for a couple of weeks and see if you guys are interested or not. Um, now of course today there's soccer again, the World Cup and I will be, well, I am very excited to watch for example the Netherlands again and of course also Spain after they were destroyed by the Netherlands so we'll see how they recover or if they'll like uh, be sent home after the first round which would be pretty insane. So that's it again. I hope that you enjoyed the video and let me know what you think of the Western Digital stuff and just the vlog in general. And I really hope to see my next video. Thanks for watching.